Hey guys, let's take a look at this GE Brightspeed. I've had a lot of questions about inside light, outside light. Remember, inside light is a light that's in the gantry. So this picture right here, these two things right here, is the gantry. So this is the gantry. And that's the light that's inside. Outside light, so if this is a gantry, this is the light that's outside. There's two lights that we have that we can set up. Of course, there's more than two lights, but what I'm talking about is where you line up this line right here. See this line that comes across? There's one outside here because it's outside of the gantry. So this is outside of the gantry. And there's one that's inside of the gantry where it hits the mylon shape. So this is the inside. This is right where the x-ray spins, so that's why it's the inside. Essentially, it's gonna come and scan from in there. So what we wanna do is move the patient in. So if you just press one button, it's gonna go very slow. If you press a button in the middle at the same time, it moves really fast. Vice versa, going in or out, or even up or down. With the middle button, it goes up fast. With, this, with just the single button, it goes really slow. So I like to use inside. I'm an inside light person because the light's already gonna scan and come in here. And also, it gives you a sense of if the patient's actually gonna fit through the gantry or not. If you use the outside, let's say you're gonna do a head, right? You're gonna do a head, and normally, let's say these are the orbits. This this thing has three eyes, so let's say this is the orbit. So normally, it's the OM line, orbital meatal line, orbital, and the meatal is the ear piece. So under the eye to the ear is where the line's supposed to go. So essentially, if you're using your outside light, that's the outside light right here. Once you set it to zero, it's gonna be set as S239, but if you set it inside, so let's go inside, and you can use your foot pedal too. You set it to your inside, so under the eye to the meatal, and you just click the inside light. See, it changes to zero. That's outside, inside. But if your light is inside and you set outside, and once you start scanning, it's not gonna scan. So go inside. And then of course you have to look at all your other lights because that makes a difference. This line right here should be centered because everything, your, anything that you're scanning, you want it isocentric, meaning you want it in the center of this CT hole, this bore. You want it in the center, whether it's a chest, whether it's your ankle, the wrist, you want the target to always be here. This is a crosshair that needs to be centered, this and this. Let's say it's like tilted like that. You either want to try to tilt their head over. Sometimes it helps to just pull the sheets and move their shoulders over. So it's like you move their shoulders by pulling the sheets, it'll straighten them up. So you want this straight. And then you want this at the center of the ear. And this lined up at the orbit and this lined up at the glabella, like mid sagittal line. All straight, everything needs to be straight and even and then use your inside light. If you use your inside light, remember to press the inside and press zero. Press the outside, press this. Another thing to check is your machine, because if you go check your machine and you check the start place and it doesn't say OM, you need to change that. And hopefully I can get that on another video. For now, I hope you got some stuff out of this video. Um, I know I did some videos on OM lining up at the orbital meatal line, um, there's a part where it's SN, which is a sternal notch, and then uh, IC, X, Y. Oh, I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. I have to show you. Hold on, let me go see.
And here are the anatomical references that we use. The OM is normally what we use for a head scan and things like orbits, C-spine, uh, maybe maxillofacial sinuses and whatnot. Um, but there are